Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be recreating a text animation inspired by a fantastic artist with the name Pixrate. If you check out his Instagram profile, it's loaded with some incredible typography and text animation, which are just amazing. I particularly love this text animation where the text transitions from thick to thin with a layer of texture adding a nice detail to the complete animation. So let's recreate this because I found this quite simple to make and it looks really really cool but before we start make sure you're subscribed to the channel and press that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new tutorials that i upload every single week so without any further ado let's jump straight into after effects and get started A lot of you guys ask me where can we get this really cool transitions and overlays that I use in my videos. So I have made a complete content creator bundle for you which comes with over 200 plus elements that includes transitions, overlays and even sound effects. So grab it today while it's on discount, link is in the description below. Alright guys so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna go with 2K. You can go with 1920 by 1080 that is full hd or 4k if you want to let's call this render as our main render comp frame rate is set to 30 fps which is nice duration is set to 10 seconds press ok then create another new composition this is going to be our text placeholder so let's call this text and then i'll press ctrl k and change the background color to white select the text tool and then you can type in absolutely anything that you want i'm going to start off by typing a single letter for the font i'll go with a nexa maybe a nexa book or something and align this into the center let's increase the size all right okay so we need to animate the font also let's keep it italic that looks much better and probably instead of book let's go with a lighter one okay so now in order to achieve that thin and thick animation then i'm going to select the text layer right click and create shapes from text then go into the shape properties click on add and add offset path so using the offset path i can animate it like so so i'll set it to around somewhere around there maybe minus five create a keyframe go to one second and let's increase this like so then go to two seconds and let's copy paste this keyframe Control c Control v and then i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the amount and let's add a looping expression in order to make the complete animation loop so i'm going to type in loop out open and close parentheses and there you go so now we have something like that now let's select the keyframes and press f9 to easy ease them Go into the graph editor and right click and make sure you select edit speed graph and let's zoom in into our timeline and let's select these points and drag the handle and add an influence of around 80%. Okay, same for this one as well. Okay, so now we have a bit more interesting movement as you can see. So that is looking quite nice. So once that is done, let's go back into our main render composition. Let's press Ctrl Y to create a new solid. I'll call this BG for background. Press OK. Go into effects and presets and type in fill. So let's add some color to the background. I'm going to go with a nice orange color or something like that. All right. And then I'm going to drag the text composition on top of this. And let's create another new composition called this grunge. Press OK. And I have a bunch of textures right over here that you can use and you can absolutely download the free project file in which you will get all these textures. So I'm going to select the animation texture, drag and drop it right here. And let's place it somewhere on like so. OK. Then go back into our main render composition and here I have one more texture that says text texture. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of the text and let's change the blend mode of this to lighten. So that looks really nice and then go into effects and presets and let's add a levels adjustment on this. So I'm going to drag the slider like so. 
so that we get the grunge effect only onto our text as you can see looks very nice all right we can scale this down a little bit if we want to so that looks much nicer and then on top of this i will add the grunge composition texture that we just created and change the blend mode of this to overlay so now we get this really nice look press t and let's bring down the opacity a little bit like so okay maybe somewhere around 50 percent should be fine and then select the text composition go into effects and presets and search for time displacement double click to apply that and in the time displacement layer i'm going to set this to grunge that we just added and now basically the text animation is driving its animation from the grunge composition so whatever texture that you add here is going to help us drive the complete animation so right now if i preview this you can see here we have this really cool look so right now as you can see the animation starts from right here and ends right here so if i change the way it is so if i let's rotate it by uh, 180 degrees let's pull this right here now we have the complete opposite so it's really interesting how you can use textures to drive this animation i think it looks very very cool now let's make it a bit more intricate so i'll add an overlay texture that i have on top and again set this to overlay this will add a nice grungy look and again i will bring down the opacity really low like somewhere on there around 25 percent should be good so now we have this complete look which looks really nice and the best part about this uh, effect or this animation is that you can add any text into this and it will look really cool maybe i'll adjust this a little bit i think it's a bit too dark no that is looking much better so this was a basic example of how you can achieve this effect now let's try this with a different text and let me show you another cool effect that you can achieve with this so i'll select the text tool and let's type in any text so i'll type in stretch all right and for the font i'll go with a different font this time i'll align this into the center and for the font i'll go with something like vanguard okay so this looks really nice i think all right and then select the font right click and create shape layers from text let's press ctrl r to bring out the rulers and let's drag some guides right here so i'm gonna drag a guide maybe right over here or somewhere around there now i'm just eyeballing this but you can take your time to be as precise as you want there you go let's jump into the shape layer go into contents and now what i'm going to do is go at the very start make sure the layer is selected and in the search i'm going to search for path and let's create keyframe on all the different paths that we have all right and then i can select the layer again press u so we can only see the keyframes and let's go to around one second and then what i'm going to do is select every path individually and stretch it so basically i'm going to select these points right here and holding shift i can stretch it like so. same i'm going to do right here as well select the points and drag this same for the t as well all right so now we have this really nice stretching animation i'll go to around two seconds and let's copy this keyframes Control c Control v now let's select all the keyframes and press f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor let's select all the points and drag this handle to add the influence of 80 person just like we did before and right here as well there we go so now if i preview this we have this really nice text animation so now we can just copy paste this keyframe so i'll select these keyframes Control c Control v Control v and just one more time 
So now we have a complete looping animation. So if I go back into our main render com that we prepared, let's see what we get. This looks really, really cool, I think. And one more thing that we can do with this is um, add a nice scale animation. So I'll hold control and double click on the pan behind tool to move the anchor point in the center. And let's press S to bring down the scale property, create a keyframe, go to one second and let's scale it up like so. Then go right here, control C, control V, press F9 to easy ease them and add the same influence of 80 here as well. Okay, so this looks really cool, I think. And then add the same loop expression. So loop open and close parentheses, loop out open and close parentheses. Now we have a continuous animation and let's preview this. And there you go. It looks absolutely crazy, I think. And um, again, you can use this technique in number of different ways. Again, a big shout out to Pixrate for uh, sharing this cool animation. Um, you can check him out. Link to his Instagram profile is in the description. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you are interested in more such typography text animation, then I have a complete playlist ready for you with over 40 plus tutorials that are free to watch. So you can binge watch them right now. Link again is in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pawar. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.